What's up, guys? <clears throat> What's up, guys? Getting ready to go to the gym. Lower hyper day. Pre workout of choice. Trolley eggs. Game day. I'm sipping on the blue bombsicle. What do you got? I still got truck here. It's pretty good. It's like a tropic explosion in the mouth. That's what they say. That's what he said. <laughs> You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song to sing. Alright guys, I'm going to show you I got a new uh, water jug. It's a gallon. It's uh, a little different shape than most jugs. Um, got this at Walmart. And then we also get those ones from Walmart. Um, what I like about this is the cap is a lot more um, secure. See, I can't even get it off. And it doesn't leak. It has this little uh, spout, which I don't, sometimes I use. I've been just taking off the whole thing. But anyways, this is a lot more secure, so you can have it you know, sideways or have it in your car and it tips over and it doesn't, you don't have to worry about it leaking. This one, a lot of times the, <laughs> shake it, like four out of five times it leaks and I've had it in the back of my car rolling around and, uh, well, you got a good one. I guess. <laughs> is that a new one? Yeah. Yeah, this is like a dollar and some change, and this is what's like three dollars, two yeah. two ninety nine or something. I actually kind of like this. It's different. It's a different shape, and it's thicker. They're both uh, that BPA free, the BPA yeah stuff, but yeah, this one has <laughs> milliliters. And then the ounces. So to this line is 120 ounces, uh, one gallon. And then 64, obviously, half a gallon. What's going on, guys? Lower hyper day. I started off with squats, like usual. Tankster has uh, 225 on the bar. Uh, we came to this workout just looking to get a pump, chase that pump. No, I'm just kidding. But we, we decided to take the, the rep range a little bit higher, just uh, based on how we feel. And I think we did a couple more sets than usual on the squats. Just changed things up. We also did sumos, and then we decided to throw in some leg press instead of uh, doing some le uh, leg extension work. Uh, yeah, so we just, we kind of focused on higher reps and then we kind of wanted this to be like a form day on squats and sumos. Just practicing that form. When I say form on squats, I'm talking about breaking from the hips and keeping the play with the knees um, to where we want it. For me and Tankster with our height and our frame, our femur um, set up, uh, we don't bring the knees out too far when we're at the bottom. Um, keep it very minimal, just match um, the angle of our toes and then drive up. So you guys can see my wife, Sony, jumped in. Uh, we actually were at, we were at the gym for once at the same time. And we were on the squat rack when she got there. So she jumped in. And, and I always enjoy her joining us for our workouts. I like um, you know critiquing her form, helping her with her form, and just helping her improve. And she enjoys it also. Wish we can train at the same time more often. But uh, with her schedule with uh, Riley, 
um, it, it just works best that we come at different times. Here's my set, 275. So usually I would have the, the weight a little bit heavier. I didn't even track my uh, my lifts today. We kind of just we just winged it and went by feel. So with me, you know, I'm I'm still working on my form, um, just the consistency, just working on those mental cues. For me, my mental cues are um, as I'm descending, going down, to open my hips right away and sit on my heels. I feel when I don't cue myself to sit on my heels, when I'm going down, I tend to lean forward and uh, lose lose leverage. So on each rep, the first thing I do is uh, I take my breath. I utilize the the, the Visalva maneuver, keep that keep that core tight, and then I descend down open with the hips, keep my knees um, neutral with a slight angle, well, well put, not an angle, but push out a little bit to match the angle of my toes. And then I drive with the heels. Here's a clip of Sonia doing 135 for sumos. I'm, I'm helping her with some, some cues to get her form down right. Her main problem, that she has is she tends to shoot the hips up a little bit too fast and that, that comes from I think not taking the time to pull the slack out of the bar and engaging the glutes before pulling and I helped her with those cues and she she said that you know I helped her out and uh, when she was doing it right the, the the pull was so much easier the weight was just flying up bar speed was fast and that's the same thing with me if I if I rush through my reps and don't cue myself correctly. Sometimes I pull it wrong and I turn it into almost like a conventional deadlift with my, my, my legs wide. Um, if I don't fire the glutes correctly, I tend to also like feel it in my quads and my knees versus utilizing the quads and the hamstrings to pull the weight. All right, here's some footage of us on the leg press. Tankster has three, three plates on each side. I think we took it up to about 25 reps, 20 to 25 reps. And it actually felt pretty damn good. Um, I'm, I don't plan on us doing this often, but just once in a while, you know, jump on the leg press and take the reps to that higher pain threshold where you just get a crazy pump. But yeah, that crazy pump training is what I like to call, or like most people call, bro. Where it's just that bodybuilding mentality. That's how you grow. That's how you you grow off pumps, blood volume. Which to me, I don't agree with anymore. I agree. I I, I believe in progressive overload progression. And if you're training like this all the time, it will hinder your, your progress in making gains, increasing strength. And uh, you guys can see that cool squat bro shirt. Some of you have asked when we're going to restock those in different sizes. We have... We have some in, but they're limited in um, sizes. But I should be restocking all the sizes in the next month. Check out the store. We just dropped a, a bunch of new stuff and actually refilled um, a lot of the sizes. So, yeah, go to the store. The, my store site link is always in the description box. It's www the hyphen online hyphen coach dot com
yeah, with this high rep range that we were taking on all the movements, we uh, it felt like cardio. I had a good sweat going on, and it felt good. It, it was a good change of pace. But we did do sumos. For some reason, I didn't turn on the camera. I think it was just because I was busy um, helping Sonia with her with her sets, with her form. But we did do sumos. I believe I was at 225 or 275, and the tank was at 225. And we were just doing that for reps, not even counting, just practicing form, practicing our pull. And then we did lying hamstring curls. Did about four sets of that, higher rep range, and then finished off with uh, calves. I think we did about four or five sets on calves. That's it, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. You say, I say, one song to sing.